You please go away. Okay, today we're going to do another preview of um, uh, a uh, upcoming trip from uh, uh, Siem Reap, Cambodia to uh, uh, Bangkok, uh, Thailand. Uh, I'm not yet quite sure um, what kind of vehicles and how much bicycle we're going to be using and such. Uh, um, I just got a reminder from uh, uh, drops of rain that are coming down right this moment and I'm out in the middle of the jungle so um, I guess I'll have to probably uh, take refuge inside this uh, over 1,000 year old uh, small temple here on the uh, uh, on the southeast corner of uh, Angkor Thom. So the reason I'm out here is to test out uh, the first of four of these um, uh, backpacks converted to um, uh, to panniers. Um, I think you can recognize the uh, uh, the brand name here. So um, um, this bag is actually we'll be testing it out on this trip for sure. But this bag uh, is supposedly completely uh, waterproof. Um, the uh, the waterproofing is oddly enough on the uh, on the inside, not on the outside of the bag. All right, so excuse the strange kind of zooming around here, but uh, as you can see, this is a Fjall Raven uh, uh, 16 liter large size uh, uh, backpack, um, and. Uh, it uh, supposedly, as I said, inside, you can see it's kind of glossy in there. Uh, it is uh, waterproof um, and uh, we will see about that because there is uh, rain. Um, rain is apparently going to be falling just like it is right now. It will be for the next month or so. So, um, yeah, they, in addition to the back panniers, I'm also planning to add two smaller panniers to the front rack here. Um, and uh, uh, I'm not sure what I'll use inside that uh, basket on the front. Uh, but um, uh, the plan is to use the, the small size and the large size uh, uh, Fall Raven Kanken um, uh, backpacks. Uh, uh, they are available here in uh, Siem Reap at a fairly uh, discounted price. So I'll, uh, I won't explain any further on that. But um, um, so I might as well show you how I've attached this since this is a backpack and I have not altered the backpack at all. Uh, it, it is actually uh, attached with zip ties uh, in the uh, all over the back of the of this uh, uh, this particular bag and uh, all right you can see sort of where how the uh, this is uh, the uh, rack time uh, aluminum um, added uh, rack in the back. So I have actually have uh, zip ties on the top there uh, because there are different kinds of straps here because I need to keep this side uh, higher than, than the derailleur, right? So that it doesn't interfere. I think you can probably see that. Um, and um, uh, then in the, in the back, I have it, uh, the straps zip tied in various places. And I'm right now just testing to see whether it'll stay high enough because uh, the one thing I don't want it to do is interfere with the derailleur. Um, I suppose we could see it from the other side too. See the derailleur and the gears are there. I don't want anything touching the bag, right? Um, all right, you can see from there. 
So this is definitely a test today. And I'll be buying a second one of these bags today to, uh, to mount on the other side. Uh, and um, in the front, I'm not quite sure yet whether the top of the rack, this is the uh, um, specialized uh, pizza rack, right? So uh, the pizza rack basically you know, you're, it's up to you to figure out how to attach things here. As you can see, I'm using zip ties too here. I'm kind of used to using uh, zip ties with this. So this is how, the, how I've set up the... Uh, this is a uh, water glass uh, storage rack tray that's been modified to use uh, as an open... Uh, um, as an open basket in the front. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this might actually be a very short video, but you can, I guess, sort of see what I'm trying to go for here, uh, so that I keep this, have those two large panniers back there, uh, and then, uh, you know, and then load them up. That's a raincoat down in there. I want to make sure it didn't sag or anything like it does when it's a uh, uh, when it's a uh, backpack. But um, so far so good. And I'm going down some pretty rough trails here to get here today, just to make sure that I can I can do that. Right. So um, I'm right now at the. Uh, uh, the southeast uh, Prasad Trung corner temple at uh, Angkor Thom. So, you know, I doubt that I'll get into any rougher terrain between here and Bangkok. Um, and uh, I'll end this now because this is just, as I said, another preview. Uh, within the next um, three weeks or so, I'll be heading out on the road. Part of it, I may take a train but uh, for sure, my plan is to go from uh, Siam Reap to the Thai border at Poi Pet, um, uh, just on, on bike. Uh, I've done it before in heavy rain. I've been doing it for many, many years. I mean, um, if, uh, if someone requests it, I can tell the story of how uh, actually the first time I ever um, traveled on Route 6 was in uh, 1980, right? That's, that's uh, quite a long time ago. So 7980, I was already on the Cambod Thai-Cambodian border, uh, basically covering the, uh, uh, the war that was going on here between the Khmer Rouge and the, the Khmer Rouge, the Vietnamese, a, a lot of countries were involved. I, I don't, I don't want to really uh, mention all of them, but I was uh, uh, working on uh, uh, projects to uh, basically just document uh, all of the uh, uh, the refugees and then in the process of course when there's war going on on all sides and there are refugees because of a war you're going to also end up being involved in a war. I, I suppose I sh could also if enough people request it uh, I could try and dig up uh, some more photos and show uh, my, you know, some of the things that I did at the time, um, including uh, being taken prisoner by the Vietnamese on the, uh, just across the border from Thailand in, inside Cambodia. Uh, uh, that was in uh, 1980, about, about June 1980. Uh, so, uh, anyway, I'm still alive, so uh, everything's okay. Um, I am now going to shut this down because we're basically coming to 10 minutes and uh, I was, uh, that's all I was planning to do on this. This is a preview of my, uh, uh, of my bike on its next trip from here to, from Siam Reap to, uh, uh, to Bangkok uh, in the rain. Um, and I may not do the Thai part. Uh, I, I may uh, jump on a train for that because it's it's not really it's all highways and stuff. It won't really really be that much fun. But uh, 
uh, the uh, the trip from Siem Reap to Poi Pet uh, and Aranya Patet on the other side of the border. Uh, that's, you know, um, I've done it many times. I really kind of like it, uh, no matter <laughs> what it's like. So uh, I wouldn't mind showing it to people. If people want to see it, you know, I will try to document it as well as possible. Okay, uh, that is over and out for today. Um, See you in the next video.